Postgres is, is uh, actually 31 years old uh, this year. It was designed to be expandable. It was designed to allow for new data types and new expression languages and new indexing types. It's kind of ideal for uh, the digital problems of today. With the last 10 years, we've seen a huge growth in demands placed on relational systems and particularly uh, on Postgres. There's a sense that you can solve a whole, a whole cast of problems uh, they cannot be solved by any other relational system but Postgres. Postgres has continued to grow and will become more popular and more important in the years ahead. We've expanded a whole bunch of different directions, obviously in the cloud and containers. Postgres is ideally suited to that for that. Uh, and the conference this, uh, this uh, week has really covered a lot of that. Uh, a lot of traditional data warehousing had a separate data warehouse database and a separate OLTP database. People don't like that anymore. They don't like having to copy the data every night, they don't like stale data, uh, they want to run data warehouse in the same database they're running OLTP. Postgres is able to do that. NoSQL, we've seen a lot of demand for that, the ability for flexible schemas, the ability to sort of store JSON or store a more native format that would be understood by the client, so whether it's the cloud or NoSQL or data warehouse, um, we continue to expand in those areas. I think one of the interesting things that we're seeing now is a lot of people moving away from having specialized data stores for NoSQL and full text search and, and data warehouse um, and, and, and trying to put everything in Postgres. And it eliminates a lot of the headaches down the road uh, that you're going to experience when you have to manage and maintain consistency between a whole bunch of different data stores. And that's, I think, one of Postgres's strengths, that you can really move things around very easily. And I think if you look at the database space, it's pretty clear that Postgres has a lot of the same disruptive and best of breed capabilities, similar to the way Linux sort of overtook the server market. Some people are picking Postgres because it's cheaper. Some people are picking Postgres because it's open source. Some people are picking Postgres because it's more flexible, easy to administer. But you're really entering a phase where people are going to pick Postgres because it's the only database that does what they need to do. And Postgres is something that other relational data stores just don't offer. And uh, I think as that message goes out, people will be more and more excited to sort of standardize on Postgres.